So I'm a big fan of uh, HubSpot documents for sharing. There's some great features. As an example, when you've uploaded a document here, like we have with this one, um, you can then create a link to share it and share it with uh, via email or however you choose to share it. Now, the great thing is when the person sees that document, they get something like this and they have to agree to view it. And then they can just view the pages in the viewer like this or click down, download here. But you see, it's all branded by HubSpot and, you know, in your brand name, which is really nice. Now, the other thing with that is when you actually look at the document that you've saved in HubSpot, you can actually see who's viewed it and what pages they viewed and how long they spent on each page when they were looking at it. And you can see on one particular day they viewed it, another day, and which pages they viewed. And that can be really valuable information as far as making your content more relevant to your audience. So you can see what they actually like and what pages they don't like and which pages they spend the time on and which pages they don't, which can be really valuable when you're putting your content. I uploaded your document here. Um, you can see this one is one that I've loaded here. Now to create your link in HubSpot, you just literally type the name of the person that you're sending it to. Nick, uh, the growth agency. And each time you want to share it, just uh, create a link and it will create a unique link for that person. Now the reason to do that is the in-depth tracking built in within HubSpot. It will track when you send that link to somebody and when they open it, and then you'll get all the viewing data for each of the pages when they look at your document. So create link. There we go, we're gonna copy that. I'm not gonna choose the compose email option because I'm going to do that within my favorite platform, which is Gmail. Um, and so I can just copy and paste that link into the email.